Being a PM means that without the right systems in place, I can spend hours tabbing through numerous spreadsheets and docs. We have some new updates to share to put an end to the endless context switching. In case you missed it, we recently announced a partnership with Snowflake. Our first integration is the Snowflake Pack. This allows you to query the data you have stored in Snowflake, bring it into your Coda doc, where you can then take action right in the same surface that you do all of your other work. Cross Doc Pack already helps your team keep content up to date across Coda docs. Now, you can go even further and add and delete rows directly from the sync table. For example, this team roster table is synced from a source doc. From this sync table, I can directly delete an old team member, add a new member, fill in all the required information, and hit send edits. And that's it. The row deletions and additions have been sent to the source table. We have also made improvements to how authentication works for Crossdoc, so your entire experience is smoother. Having to jump into another tool like Slack or email just to collect status updates from stakeholders can eat up a ton of time. You could already use Coda to automate this process, but now we've made it even simpler and faster to send Slack messages, emails, or notifications, all without writing any formulas. I've added a send message button as a column directly in my task tracker in Coda. I've set it up to send a Slack message, but you could do a Gmail or a notification as well. And now I can write a custom message for each row using information already in the table, like, hi, person, your task task name is overdue. Please update the status. Now I can easily send these Slack messages without having to leave my task tracker in Coda. Going beyond what's new, we want to give you a sneak peek into features that are in beta or are launching soon. One of these features is editable canvas preview, which will be live in your docs in just a couple of weeks. Now there's a lot that you can do with the canvas column type, like comment or suggest changes on a specific piece of content within a cell. You used to have to open the entire row to be able to do this, which can slow you down. Soon, all you'll have to do is double click. So for example, if I want to suggest a different team that this action item will be passed to, I can double click here and easily suggest that change. Editable Canvas Preview will be live in your docs in just a couple weeks, so you don't waste time and context going back and forth between the row that you're editing and the table that has all the information that you need. Do a sneak preview of a new feature that's now in beta called Grid. It's like a simpler table, great for when you just want to get started and don't want to think about table titles or column types. You can add things like dividers, note, largest office yet, or comments, New York. If you're interested in trying it out, sign up at coda.io slash betas. In the coming weeks, we're releasing a huge update to sync page boundaries in Coda. You'll soon be able to allow your collaborators to view a sync page that you add to a doc without having access to the entire source doc. For example, I have a document that's for my team hub. I have another document here that has customer information and each page is information on a specific customer. I want the team in my team hub to be able to access this page of customer one but not the other pages. So in the future, the way you would do this is you'd go ahead and create a sync page. Then you'd find the corresponding document and page. Click create, and soon you'll see this new option to allow everybody in this doc access to this page. Only after clicking this will your team and your team hub have access to this customer's page. To learn more about these features and everything else we launch, check out coda.io slash updates.